Greetings. My name is John Maynard Keynes, famous economist, dignified scholar, notorious <coughs> liberal elite, <coughs> jailers. <coughs> Can I have some water, please? <coughs> I'm sorry, sir. We're all off duty. Bored to death because of our two-hour work days you so famously foretold. I'm just kidding. We, of course, have bullshit jobs now. There is zero-hour contracts and the recently introduced 12-hour workdays in Central Europe. Here, have some fancy lemonade. Maybe this one. Don't you feel incredibly liberated? Stop! I bet you'd rather have a nice bottle of Chianti right now. Ah, better. Every so often in the past 40 years, my name has been dragged in the mud by various groups and individuals who take pleasure in creating a bogeyman. Given that I, being dead, am no longer able to mount my usual sanguine, yet presumptuously dignified opposition to their attacks, you know. My theory and my polished original writing style combined with a dashing je ne sais quoi. I am pleased to say that these days of being forcibly silenced are now a thing of the past, albeit, for the time being, it involves me having to speak under quite austere circumstances. So, I am apparently rendered as a talking scarecrow in a straitjacket, metaphorically disarmed at the hands of my adversaries who go by the name of neoliberals. Word is that 40 years ago, my British compatriots had some dealings with one devout disciple of this vexing creed, a madam baroness by the name of Thatcher. No, no, no. This apparently led to a substantial wave of transferring ownership of public services to private rentier interests, including selling off water systems, the electrical grid, the British railways and many more. Careful, Johnny. Pardon my cheekiness. There is no need to be alarmed, my revered jailers. This is indeed why I find it imperative to restate that I, as the common label liberal suggests, in fact wanted the same thing as these neoliberals, which is the maintenance of a free market order at a global level, with the important difference that I saw a set of crucial institutional amendments that needed to be made in order to achieve these ends. Yes, I see you can sense where these like not letting things get out of hand. All of this, by the way, is conveniently condensed in Quince Lobodian's Globalists. He is an associate professor in history at Wellesley College, who apparently, as I gather, despite his heavy use of the word globalist, has not once appeared on the Alex Jones show. Although I have to say I'm starting to come to terms with my predicament, I realized that not only markets, also individuals can remain irrational longer than you can stay solvent. Pity me. I understand now that I had it coming as well, calling for the euthanasia of the rentier and all that. We warned you, Johnny. Don't make us muck up your legacy again. Guards, silence him. Silence the class traitor. Fools, trading really badly insulated houses in newly gentrified city areas is no model for the masses. Uh. My apologies.